to find the displacement on a velocity time graph, we find the area under the velocity time line. Question one, what is the displacement of the object at 10 seconds? Go to 10 seconds, we find out that we need to find the displacement of this particular uh, area here. And so the graph is in the shape of a triangle. And so we had to just find the area of this particular triangle. To find the area of a triangle, we take one half base times height. In our case, it'll be 0.5, one half times the base, which this particular triangle is 10 seconds, times the height of this triangle, which will be 150 meters per second. When we solve that, the seconds cancel out. And we get 750 meters. Second example, how far did the object go between 20 and 30 seconds? Now, in this case, we have a strange shape. But we can take this shape and we can divide it up into a triangle and a rectangular square. So to find the area of the triangle, we take our one half base times height. So one half times the base. In this case, it's from 20 seconds to 30 seconds. So the base is only 10 seconds wide times the height. Now we just want the height of the triangle. So in this case, we uh, it goes from 100 to 150. So it is a height of 50 meters per second. Solve this, the seconds cancel out, and we get 250 meters for the triangle. I'm going to write this right here to remind us for later. Next, we had to find the area of this square. This It's not a square though, so don't let the grid lines confuse you. So a square or a rectangle is just simply length times width. The length being our 20 to 30 seconds, so 10 seconds times our width, or in this case, a height, which is going to be 100 meters per second. Do the math, the seconds cancels out, and the area of that rectangle is 100 meters. Sorry, 1,000 meters. We write that in here. Now the total area is going to be the sum of the two shapes. So our total area is 1,250 meters. And now you can see why we had to put a box around everything. So that is our final answer. Question three, what is the object's total displacement for the 50 seconds? So we had to find the area under this entire line. What you do, just start dividing it up into the different shapes. Big rectangle, we have a big triangle right here, goes up and over, and over here we have another rectangle. We have a nice big easy rectangle right here, B, and our original triangle at A. Oh, I missed one over here. Okay, so we've got several shapes to deal with. We already know A is 750 meters. And when we solve for the rest of these, this one ends up being 1,500 meters, 1,500 meters. We know this is 1,000 meters. Well, we don't know that, we calculate that. This triangle here also is 1,000. This large rectangle here ends up being 3,000 meters. And this small triangle up here ends up being 500 meters. And when we sum all of these shapes together, the total displacement is 9,000 meters.